know how I got. As you just saw, we're going to be covering grappling hooks in the movies. But first, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Frederick. I'll be covering the forces. I'm Brian, and I'm going to be covering projectile motion. And I'm Chris, and I'll be doing the fun stuff. But I need to get these guys out of here. Okay, good. Now that I got them out of here, let's talk about some cool stuff. So today, we're going to look about at the movies and how grappling hooks are going to be used. First, we're going to build a grappling hook. Then, well, they're going to explain how it works. And lastly, we're going to show you some cool footage of us being superheroes. For forces, we have Frederick, as he talked about, and he's going to explain some forces. Next, we have Brian explaining projectile motion. He's going to talk about how grappling hooks fly and some of the physics behind that. And lastly, we're going to swing around and be some superheroes, because really, are superheroes that super? So before we go into the definition of what a force is, we're going to define it as two concepts. The first one that we are defining is mass. So as you can see with the two objects, the one on the right is less massive, which means it has less mass to it than the one on the right. The second concept is acceleration. To describe this, I'm going to go get something. Give me just a minute. Cool. I got what I was looking for. So we're going to be using this ball to describe acceleration, more specifically Gravity. Gravity is acceleration in the downward direction, as shown. So now that we've seen the slow motion fall of the object, let's analyze the object's acceleration. As you can see in this video, the time it takes for the ball to drop the last two-thirds of the distance is equal to the time it took to fall the first one-third of the distance. This is because as the objects fall, as the object falls, the acceleration increases, making its velocity quicker. So now that we've talked about the two components of a force, we're actually going to get into what a force is. So a force is anything that causes a push or a pull on an object. This can cause the object to accelerate, like we talked about. It can cause it to slow down, remain in the same position, or even change its shape. So what I'm going to do now, since we know what a force is, I'm going to show you the equation for it. So the equation for a force which we define as F, is going to be equal to the mass of the object, which as we described earlier, is just this quantity, times acceleration, which in this case is gravity. So now that we know what a force is, I'm going to show you what we like to call a free body diagram. Alright, so with a free body diagram, it's a very simple way to show what forces are acting on an object. So for the grappling hook, we're just going to show it as a square, just to keep it simple. And the only force acting on the grappling hook is going to be what we call weight. And this is our, the weight of us as we swing on the object with the rope. So as previously shown with the force equation, weight is a force. And weight, uh, weight is equal to our mass times gravity pulling on it. So this is the only force we're concerned about as we're swinging from the grappling hook. So let's talk about project, projectile motion. Now what is project, What is projectile motion? The physics behind The physics behind an object being thrown in the air <coughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Anyways, as Brian was saying, let's talk about projectile motion. And how an object travels through the air. Projectile motion is the physics behind how an object travels through the air and why it travels through the air in that way. Objects here on Earth will travel through the air in an arc motion unless thrown vertically, but we will not be looking at that today. This is kind of an arc you will see if an object is thrown through the air, specifically about 45 degrees, but we'll go into that in a minute. The reason an object will travel in an arc is because of the force called gravity, which was discussed earlier by Frederick. Gravity acts on every object the same way at all times. When the object is thrown, just because it leaves the ground does not mean gravity stops acting on it. As it travels through the air, gravity will continue to act on this object and slow the object down until it hits this point. At this point, gravity has acted on the object long enough to bring its velocity down to zero. This means that the object has reached its max height and will start returning back down to Earth. 
This is really important because at this X here, this is where our grappling hook will ideally land if we're trying to scale a building or a tall object. All right, let's get into angles and how it affects the trajectory of an object. First off, the best angle to get a distance of an object will always be 45 degrees. And you can see that through this clip we're now showing here. A 45 degree angle will give you a perfect arc of an object, giving you the farthest distance. The reason is this, is a shorter angle will not get the necessary height to let the object travel as far, so it will, gravity will pull it down to the earth quicker. Second off, if you get any angle above 45 degrees, the object will travel higher, but not as far. For us, this is positive. So let's look at a 60 degree angle. As you can see now, a 60 degree angle is being shown on this curve. This angle is going to give us a lot higher height, but not nearly as much of a distance covered. But for in our case in grappling hooks, this is great. We want to be able to climb buildings, and distance is somewhat important as we cannot literally be on the building, and we will have to throw it from a distance, but height is our main concern. So, in the physics behind grappling hooks, not only is forces important, but trajectile motion also really helps us decide how to properly design and use our grappling hook. For our design considerations, at first, we wanted to do something more in the Batman tradition. We wanted to shoot the grappling hook out of a cannon. However, we didn't know how we could compact the cannon into a smaller, more pistol-like grappling hook that Batman has. So instead, we took a different route. We took the route more of a Luke Skywalker from the New Hope. Taking in consideration the science behind forces and the projectile motion, we decided to use four steel rods bent and welded together underneath all this duct tape. Wrapped with a paracord that has enough support to hold person. So to sum up forces, forces equal the mass times acceleration. Mass is the amount of quantity you have of a certain sub, uh, substance. And acceleration, we're taking into account gravity, which is pulling on me right now. Alright guys, so projectile motion helps us learn a lot about how things fly through the air. And we learned today how angles affects the arc and trajectory of those objects. Use this information wisely, and always have fun. Grappling hooks in real life are not a good idea, as they were projected in movies and TV shows. <laughs>